Hello everybody! Today I'm going to show you how I turned a big pair of pants into this, a cute little gardening apron. That's today on Refashioning with Rachel. Okay, so first I'm cutting my pants along the seams so I can get all the pieces separated and see what I'm working with. I'm going to start with the two back panels since those are the biggest pieces and lay them right sides together. First, I make a straight line that's the length plus two centimeters of the apron, then a perpendicular line to that one, which is one fourth your waist measurement plus two centimeters. Then I measure from the top of the line down to where my waist is going to be. And then from that line, I also draw a line that meets up with the waist measurement plus two centimeters. Then a line from the top of the apron to half of the neck width plus two centimeters. And then I join the end of that line to the side waist. And that might have been difficult to catch, so these are the measurements I used. And then I just cut that out, and now I have two panels that will make up the front of the apron. Now I'm just going to pin and sew along that center seam. After it's sewn, I'm ironing the seam open. And I want to finish off those raw edges, so I'm tucking them in and ironing them down. All the way down the center seam. I'm going to use this stitch, I believe it's called a multiple step zigzag, and set it to about four millimeters wide and go all the way down that center seam. This is going to add a little bit of a decorative finish while tucking in those raw edges. And this is what it looks like after I did that multiple step zigzag stitch, but the ends still look like they could use a little bit more security, so I'm just top stitching close to the edge on both sides of this seam. And now that center seam is very secure and laying nice and flat. So at this point, I can pin and hem all of the raw edges of the apron. That includes the bottom and the neck and the sides and the armholes. I'm just folding over twice and using a straight stitch for this hem. And when I finish hemming one edge, I can Fold over that corner and continue with the next edge. Now that everything is nicely hemmed, I can move on to the pockets. I'm just roughly measuring out where I want them to go and how big they need to be. I'm 
With one of the remaining pant legs, I'm drawing out the pockets and cutting them out. I will have one little pocket at the top of the apron and one larger pocket split into two compartments at the bottom of the apron. Just like that. And now I'm going to hem the top of both of these pockets, just folding over twice and using a straight stitch. And after the tops of these pockets are hemmed, I'm going to serge all of the remaining edges of the pockets. You can use a zigzag stitch for this or just leave it raw, that's fine too. Then I can fold up all of those finished edges and press them down. And this is the fun part of the project. I get to go through all of my scraps and cut out shapes of mushroom tops and mushroom stems and lay them out and play with it until I like how all of the pieces look next to each other. When I have all of my little mushroom pieces laid out pretty much how I like them, I'm putting them in place. Back to the sewing machine, I'm sewing down these patches using a straight stitch about one millimeter away from the edge of the patch. So it should look like this at this stage. After all of those patches are top stitched down, I'm using a zigzag stitch that is short and about five millimeters wide. And I'm going all along the edges of the patches. I apologize for the lighting here. It was getting a little bit late in my studio. After putting that border around the patches, it will look like this. And this is how the pockets look after all of the patches have been sewn and zigzagged down. And now I can pin down the pockets and sew them in place. I'm making sure to really secure the seam at the top of these pockets. And I'm sewing down the center of the bottom pocket so I can have two compartments. With the remaining pant leg, I needed to get three decently long straps. Originally, I tried to cut out three inch straps, but I didn't have enough fabric, so I switched to two and a half inch wide straps, and that worked out just fine. A 
Over by the ironing board, I folded down and ironed one centimeter in from both sides of all of the straps. And after both sides were ironed, I folded it in half and ironed that flat. Back at the sewing machine, I am sewing using a straight stitch about one millimeter away from the edge on both sides of the strap. After the three straps are sewn, I'm cutting one of them in half for the next straps, and then the two longer straps will go on the side. I just fold over one centimeter of the strap and pin it to the side of the apron. I'm attaching the straps, making a box first, and then putting an X through the box, like you see me doing right here. This ensures that the strap is attached nice and securely. Now all that's left to do is finish off the ends of the straps. And here's a little trick if you're finding it hard to sew just like the very tip of something. If your feed dogs can't grab onto it, then first feed through a piece of scrap fabric like you saw me do, and then you should be able to pull the strap through and just cut off the scrap fabric when you're finished. And the apron is finished. Here is a reminder of what we were working with before, just a big old pair of pants. And here's what it looks like now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you did, and have a lovely day.